Hey guys, welcome back to Hound Hogs Barbecue. Today we are doing our first recipe in our summer taco series. Uh, it's a pretty special one actually. It's gonna be a grilled Spanish mackerel taco. I'm pretty excited for it, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so uh, this Spanish mackerel that I got today, I actually caught at Fort Walton Beach. I was on a pier. I just so happened to stop in a spot on my way down the pier leaving, uh, threw out a gotcha plug one time in the middle of a bunch of people and caught this mackerel. It's a pretty good size, especially for being a pier fish. Today, we're gonna try to make a taco out of that fish and it's gonna be grilled. We're gonna do a fried taco video later in the series. So today, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna have some sliced cabbage on the bottom with, for that kind of fresh crispness. We're gonna have the grilled fish on top. We're going to have a wild sauce crema that we're going to make. And then we may throw a couple little things in here or there. I don't know. We're just going to make it up as we go. But it's going to be a really good uh, grilled taco just with that flaky fish, uh, a lot of freshness, a lot of savoriness and saltiness. And so we're going to get to cooking this thing. Let's go ahead and get this cabbage chopped up. All right, so for our crema, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make just a really simple sauce. Uh, we want the creaminess of the crema, but we also want a little bit of extra flavor. And so I thought the wild sauce from Blue's Hog would go pretty good. This is basically like a buffalo lemon pepper. And so it's gonna give it kind of that mild uh, hot sauce and lemon pepper flavor in there. So it's really that simple. It's just gonna glaze the top of our taco. And so I'm gonna take just a couple spoonfuls of this. I would pour it, but it'll probably make a mess because you're not gonna need a whole lot on top of each taco. We're just gonna take this blues hog sauce right here, and we're just gonna mix it in. And that looks exactly like we want it to. Were you recording that? Yeah, the whole thing. You sure? Yep. I don't know, you lost all the last videos, can I trust you? Nope. Yeah, just just subtle flavor. We don't want too much. Um, we just want to add a little bit to the cream. So that's going to be good for this taco. All right, so we are going to grill this fish on the Hasty Bake Legacy today with some Royal Oak Lump. I actually chose lump because I just want that really pure, clean f flavor that lump gives. Uh, so let's get this thing, let's get the rack moved out of the way. I'm only gonna put a little bit on one side because I don't wanna just hit this thing super, super hard, but I wanna make sure I get a little bit of char on that fish. And so we're gonna just do one side hot and then we're kinda kinda put it right over the edge of it when we go to cook that fish. Uh, so let's get this thing lit up and we'll get to it. You may wanna back up a little bit. All right, guys, so if you hear a little bit of a accordion in the background, it's because I have some Hispanic neighbors uh, and they know we're out here making tacos. And so they're out here playing us some live music uh, in my neighborhood. So that's pretty awesome. So uh, we got this Spanish mackerel here. Okay, uh, beautiful fish. I went ahead and got all the pin bones out. Now I had one that was really pretty small and I had one that was pretty big. I'm saving the other half of this fish to do a fried fish taco for you in another recipe. All we're gonna do, we're going to hit this thing with some rubs that have no sugar in them. We're going to start with Bobby Oliver's Twisted Oliver Barbecue All-Purpose Rub, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, and some a couple other things in there. Uh, we're going to do that, and then actually we're going to use a little bit of Bill Mann's Pit of Heaven Texas Pit Grit. Great blackening seasoning. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go with on this fish. And so we're going to get these things seasoned up. We're going to get them put on the grill. They're not going to take real long. They don't have to cook a whole long time. And we're going to get to eating some tacos. I'm ready because this music is making me want some tacos and some queso and some pico. Maybe some, yeah, some of that. All 
All right, so we're gonna get this thing on the grill. Now it's really important because fish will stick really easily that you use a separate rack. Uh, we're gonna grease this thing down real quick. So just hit it with some avocado oil, non-stick oil here. Nice and uh, greased up there. And we're gonna do the same thing to the back of the fish and the front of the fish. And we'll probably add a little bit more when it comes time to flip that fish over. So let's kind of get in and do that. All right, so we got the fish on the rack. It's nice and greased up. Uh, we're gonna try to keep part of the rack off the directly uh, above the coals, and we're gonna try to keep the fish directly above the coals. Probably not going to close the lid very much because it's not gonna take very long at all for this. Uh, so let's get it on. Right, so we can see the uh, cooking's coming up the side of the fish here. We're gonna spray the top and we're gonna get flipped over. That is a very hot grill right now. Oh my gosh, that's hot. Now right, you can see this is getting a little flaky here, starting to fall apart. Uh, so she's done. All right, so let's get these tacos built. Uh, we got the mackerel here. Let me pull it over here. I'm gonna start with the big piece. You want it nice and flaky, okay? Now I'm gonna take this skin off. Uh, usually, I, I mean, I don't mind the skin, but I'm gonna take it off for these tacos today. See how nice and flaky that is? And that's the bloodline right there. So if you don't like a real fishy taste, you're not gonna wanna eat that. I'm gonna start by putting some cabbage in here. Just a little bit on the bottom, just for that crisp, right? Uh, that's what we're gonna put on the bottom here. Then I'm just gonna get me a piece of the fish, just about that big, it don't have to be much because it's a pretty small taco. Then I'm gonna take this sauce and I'm just gonna drizzle it across. Now this is the best cheese for really any kind of tacos. It's cotija, you'll see me use it in a couple more recipes. Now we're just gonna drizzle that over top. It's, it's like, kind of like a Mexican style Parmesan, so it's a little bit saltier. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of cilantro just for that extra little touch of herbiness, herbaceousness, whatever the word is. Just gonna sprinkle that on top. Now I love cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, just leave this part out. All right, I'm ready to eat. I don't know about y'all, but I, I'm ready to try this thing. We grilled the tortillas off a little bit. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. Get back on there. What you doing? Just beautiful. We got some nice colors. Presentation's really good. Let's see if it tastes good. My mouth's water and I can almost not talk. <laughs> yeah, that's a good taco. I'm not tasting as much of the fish, but it's still good. I just want a little bit more of the fish because honestly, I expected the mackerel to be a little bit stronger of a fishy flavor, uh, but it's not. Honestly, it's pretty mild. Uh, the crunch of the cabbage is great because everything else is kind of soft. It adds that little bit of texture. And then just that little bit of touch of herb with that cilantro is really good. So I'm pretty happy with this, especially considering I haven't eaten in like seven hours. So that's that's a plus. Man, you just can't beat a taco. All right, guys, so that's it for this taco recipe for a grilled fish taco. It was really good, really bright, really refreshing. This is the first saltwater fish I've ever caught, cleaned, and cooked, and ate, right? So I'm not a saltwater fisherman. You don't get that in the middle of Georgia. Uh, so it was really good. It was better than I expected. A lot less fishier than I expected. Uh, this is just part one. This is probably one of the most basic, kind of the, the more tame recipes that we're gonna try in this series. Got a lot of cool ideas for us going forward. As always, guys, we wanna encourage you to turn those ideas into realities. Get out there and cook something new. We'll catch you next time. And uh, you can make this as long as you go catch the fish yourself. Thank you.